In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create four simple steps infographic slide in PowerPoint and this is how the slide works. As you can see here, I've put this business headline in the center. When I click, it will show the step one. Okay, and then you can add some detailed text here. When I click, it will show a step two in a different color. Again, from the right, it will show you the step three and then the step four. So depending on your requirement, you can change and edit this slide. And if you have not subscribed to my channel PowerPoint University, please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon. You can join my telegram group with the help of this link. I have used Office 2019 version to do this. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide, go to view, enable the guides, go to insert shapes. From the basic shapes, I'm going to choose the circle hollow. Draw the circle hollow by holding the shift key. And depending on your requirement, you can increase or decrease the size. So you can see here like this, then align center, align middle. And then I'm going to reduce the width by dragging this small orange point outside. You can see here, so how much width you need, depending on that, you can keep it. Maybe I would like to keep uh, this much width or, or more than this, maybe this one. Then shape outline, I'm going to make it no outline. Then I'm going to cut this into four pieces for that. Go to insert shapes, select the rectangle, draw the rectangle. So again, depending how much gap you need between the shapes, uh, depending on that, you need to adjust the, the width of this rectangle. I'm okay with this. Again, shape outline, no outline, align center, align middle. And I'm going to duplicate this one by pressing Ctrl D and I'm going to rotate it, rotate right 90 degrees and this also align center, align middle. Once we have done this one, I'm going to press Ctrl A, okay, Ctrl A to select all the shape or you can, the, with the help of mouse also you can select all these things, okay. Then go to the shape format, merge shape and select fragment, just click the fragment and I'm going to select like this all the unwanted i'm going to delete you can see here just select and click on the delete button you can see here like this all right or i can just simply do like this so you can see here i've got four different shapes okay then i'm going to connect this one with the help of one rectangle and make sure that there is no outline okay no outline here then go to insert shapes select the rectangle again draw the rectangle something like this you can see here all right and shape outline make it no outline okay again depending on the requirement you can increase or decrease the uh, the height of this one so i'm just going to maybe the size a little bit i think this is okay all right and make sure that this is properly aligned. Now, if you see here, there's some alignment issues there, so I need to align it properly, okay? I think this is okay, I believe. If not, we need to correct it. Some problem with that, I feel. I think this is okay. Then I'm just uh, zoom out. Hold the control shift key, drag this to the right side like this. Now I'm selecting both this line. Again, hold the control shift key, bring it down. All right. So it looks something like this. And once this is done, what you need to do is you need to group this one. So I'm going to select this and this. You can go to the shape format, merge shape and make it union. Select this and this, merge shape, union. You can see here I'm just unioning. So it becomes one shape all right so you can see here it becomes one shape like this so once this is done i'm going to change the color of each of these options so for that you can select this one right mouse click go to format shape under fill you can just choose any color of your choice so i have chosen some colors like this you can see here i can just go and choose any color of my choice so different color combinations you can see here and then I'm going to choose maybe uh, some other color this one all right and if you want to change the background color also you can just choose any light color background a light gray color background 
so once this is done what we need to do is we need to add some text here so go to insert text box i'm going to type step 01 or option 1 center align i'm going to choose the font roboto if you want you can make it bold and i'm going to put it here when i'm putting it here i just need this one to come like this so i can put it like this but it's not looking good so what you need to do is you need to go to the shape format text effects you can see the transform and i'm going to choose this arc type okay and then you can reduce the size you can make it more curve and then just do like this you can see here all right so step one now press ctrl d to duplicate bring it aside and just rotate the other side and this will be step two all right so once this is done i'm going to copy this one to the below one ctrl d to duplicate and here i'm going to make it straight again and now i'll go here text effects transform now i'm going to do the other side the arc down okay again you can adjust it and then you put it here like this all right so this is my step three control d to duplicate and rotate the other side now you have to spend a, a, some amount of time uh, for doing the proper alignment i think this is okay for us so this is my step one i can make uh, this one as step two if you want so depending on your requirement how you want then this will be the step three and this will be the step four all right so once this is done go to insert text box you can add the business headline here again make it bold choose any font of your choice increase the size make it gray if you want again align center align middle and this also you can make it center align here so once this is done go to insert text box you can add detailed text here so equals l-o-r-e-m within bracket one i'm giving some text like this if you want you can make it in a more paragraph manner all right and then the color i'm going to give some uh, gray again the same font i'm going to choose if you want you can reduce the size and put it here again hold the control shift key move it to the right select both the text again hold the control shift key bring it down so you can see here we have got four steps i'm going to remove the guides so it looks like this now if you want to do the animation it's very simple you can select this one and this one and group it this one and this one group it all right just group one by one and then you can do the animation so i'm just going to the animations enable the animation and i'm going to make it a wipe effect you can see here the wipe effect wipe effect it should be from right so it comes like this all right so once this is done the text should come for the text i'm going to the more entrance effects i'm going to click the stretch and click ok or if you want you can make it from left also this should happen after previous so if i play it comes like this you can see here now i'm going to copy the animation using the animation painter okay you can see here like this it should come and then again this also so instead of right it should come from so instead of left it should come from right and then the step three i'm going to select this one so here it should come from left like this and then animation painter this should come from left also i will copy the same thing here and so let's do a slideshow when i click the step one step two step three and step four so simple slide 